Nigga, what color is that that you have on there? Your boss. Is that pink? Is that pink? Is that whatever it is, it's, it's there. You guys, look, if you guys want to be a model of week, apricot. You hear me? Apricot. You guys want to be a model of week, man. Lee is one of the dopest, most down to earth ladies to get in tune with. Just get uh, one of your profile pictures to Anita Matt, and she gonna get right back with you. Last but definitely not least, the right way, Miranda Wright in the building. Wearing nothing but fashion no for you. Hear me? Man, look, we got special guests in the building today as well. We got Steve from 773 Exclusive. Exclusive 773. If you don't know about that store on 87th, man, y'all bogus. Um, Steve, say what's up real quick, bro. What's good, boss? I appreciate you guys out here. You know what I'm saying? Man, you're doing a lot of God's work, man. Ain't no way I couldn't reach out to you, bro, and all. It's hard, you know, I already know it's hard out here. So, you know, uh, 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 I congratulate you on your circle. Uh, the quality of uh, things that I'm seeing, you know, I see you working. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I like the song, the song is dope. Man, I appreciate you, man, for real. And messing with this guy right here, man, I don't see nothing but fruitful stuff. Bro. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Steve's the best, man. Yeah, man, a lot of people say that. Good people say that. No, song, hey, listen, you know? at the end of the day, like, I'm trying to move forward, let's make some money, and let's bring the city as a whole, for real, no bullshit. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, Steve, you guys just came from doing some of God's work, uh, Turkey. What's going on with the Turkey Drive? Talk well, about it. this is our sixth annual Turkey Drive. Um, we've been doing it since Instagram started. You know, the first year was 100, second year we did 1,000, and then we just raised the stakes every year, so our goal this year is over 2,000. God bless you, man. God bless you. Uh, your store, give them the address. Anybody who don't know Steve, I get people that ask me today, uh, man, does he manage a uh, dirt? Does he, man, look, Steve know probably every rapper that came. Yeah, 90% of whoever blew up in the past five years, you know, came through the store, worked with us. You know, we, we did something with him, whether it was a concert or we come together and show, something, some type of work. So, like I said, it's a big revolving door and we're all working. And Steve get you together, man. You go through that, man. Spend some money, man. This show is what I've been looking forward to right now and just putting all effort into this, trying to get ticket sales going, all that, trying to push it, you know. Um, and as of right now, it's that, but I got so many other more projects planned and lined up. Like, it's not going to stop here. It's definitely not. I got, I got, yeah, I got, I got, I got something for him. Soon, you know? Yeah, I got something for him. I salute you. Where can I... Uh, and not just me though, Pressing Records exclusive, Steve right here, we can't do it without Steve. No, if it wasn't for Steve, man, I'm telling you, we can't do it. He's helping, he's helping. I'm I know you. your team, D. Man, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been much trying, appreciated. I've been trying right. to network more with Steve and Steve, <laughs> every bit I can, you know? But Steve's a busy guy and involved with a whole lot, man, and lot. that's why we love him, Steve. I believe I promise you, I wish there was more time in the day, for yeah. real. Man. I'm sure don't nobody get too personally hurt when you uh, don't hit them back right away, no. whatever, you know? We get you, we get you. Where come on, people go get, uh, follow you at, uh, A-Rab, all uh, your stuff? Instagram, The Real A-Rab, Twitter, The Real A-Rab. Um, man, Facebook, I just keep up with friends and family. Um, hey, yeah, The Real A-Rab on Instagram. Miranda, Nita, I know y'all want to, I see y'all over there. Y'all know y'all got, YouTube channel, I know you know, got questions for A-Rab, for our, for our, you know. <laughs> Before I even go to Arab, I want to ask Steve. Okay. Um, when you, and, and this this is something I really want to know because what makes you get involved with artists in the music? Like what, what drives you to that, like, like the whole love of it, like that makes you want to help and put so much energy and time into this? Well, honestly, I was a huge fan of Chicago music, so um, it was, I mean, just just being a fan, like, and then being able to, it was like a domino effect. So once I got go with one person and it just fell all into place, like next thing you know, it was like, they're hitting me up, like, oh, when can we link? Or what you got coming up? Or how can we work? Or what you want to do? So it, it's crazy, honestly. So for me, it's like a, adrenaline. And over the years, like, I worked with everybody, like whether it was Dirk, Twista, Lupe Fiasco, you know, famous Dax, Bibby, her, everybody you could think of, like, literally, that blew up in the past five years. I really DJ worked with Neil Tick, yeah, yeah, everybody. 
All the cameramen, the yes, DJs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, everybody knows. It's like you really had to have a love for it to be. No, a I do. I, I, so I honestly, no, I do. I really do. And I, I always try to keep the money in Chicago as well because a lot of times when I do events, shows, or anything, features, I always try to keep with Chicago artists. Um, I rarely work with people out of town. I, I worked with Yo Gotti before, but that was it, really. But you gotta understand, I think he's got a love just for the community and the, the, I mean, gym shoe and the, you know, fashion and you're the right culture. in the community. So when you're giving back to the community, you ain't got no uh, choice or other position than to really get involved with the community, if that makes any sense. Uh, that, that was a, that's a leader of boss move, you know, and I salute him for it. Thank you, you I know, appreciate it. And, and, and I appreciate you. Welcome to our world. <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> but, um, you, a -Ram. Oh, You. <laughs> <laughs> Your music. I want to know, like, what's the overall message that you actually put out here for the fans? Um, overall message? Yeah. In my music? Mm-hmm. Man, uh, like, you know, I do a lot of stuff for the females, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, man, and I just, I be talking, like, I got a lot of songs, like, I, no one really knows what I be rapping about right now, because I only got one song, and the one song that I ever dropped in my, you can only find one song, it's the one with Rick Ruff, and, um, in my other music, when I drop it, Y'all gonna see it's like I'm more versatile. I can talk about streets. I can talk about love. I can talk about being in pain. All that. And um, it's just it's just so many messages I be trying to send out. And a lot of people see it. Like um, I got like trust issues. So I talk about trust in some of my songs. A lot of it. Um, love. I love being in love. You know, I love rubbing feet. You know, I love doing all that, so I talk about that. You know, uh, you know, I got a foot fetish, so you just have to throw that out there. I love it. I love it. We need a lot of those more guys. You know, they, they, he embracing he, he the he females. Is, that's okay. what's up. That, that's a market. 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 That's a market Get the no chip on her on her hand and stuff. Okay, like yeah, in you know? this conversation went. So, <laughs> yeah. That's what's uh, up. Like, that's what's up. Like, seriously. Anybody, you, well, you said you you doing some work with Baby and who else? Yeah, Baby and Z Money. Who else you see yourself working with out of Chicago? Man, baby? I see him out of Chicago. And, well, Baby, who, 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 you, see, who you see yourself working with? Man, I I. See, I, I love Dirt. Okay. He was one person I always, like, he was on my iTunes all the time, every day, like, all the time. Like, when I, I got was, locked up, <laughs> when I got I locked up, I was dirt, 17, like, right? The, the rest of the shine and Dirt was playing on the way of me right now, that song they dropped. Don't like, when I got locked up, I was 17, and I was fresh, right after he dropped Sign to the Streets, and I kid you not, like, I knew every lyrics to every song on that album. I was on deck at the chuck hole just rapping for everybody. <laughs> hey, hey, rap, hit that dirt. Hit that dirt. <laughs> I'm in the chuck hole going crazy. <laughs> I'm talking about everything. Just spazzing out, hitting everything. They, two in the morning. Hey, rap, hit that dirt again. <laughs> Back at it. For real, going crazy. I love so, you. You know what's a crazy story about Sign to the Streets? I told her to do the tape with DJ Drama. Mm -hmm. That's where it a lot of people don't know I, that. Do, I trust me, I believe There's it. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that I did with Chicago music. People. And I love a lot it. of you people know, what's never of, know. And that's what I'm wondering. Like, you know, what are some of the difficulties that, um, you know, you could say you've accomplished? You know, like you've went through because everything, I mean, everything I, we do got difficulties. And like, I've, I've honestly, like, I stopped a lot of shootings. Um, I got shot at. I mean, somebody got killed in front of us. You know, we did an event with years ago, so we went through a lot, honestly. And then we're a target as well, you know, like with the police and everything. Right, right. So it's like they want to nitpick and look for anything to use against you. But at the end of the day, you know, the good's always gonna outshine the bad, so it don't bother me none. I love that. That's all that matters. That's true. Um, <clears throat> I don't really think that there's ever been a time where the bad kind of 
lasted a little longer than it should have. You know, that's right, the good does come along and it makes things a little better. You know, what makes you want to, what, 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 what was it that made you just take your music serious? You know, out of all the times that you just, Man, uh, oh yeah, I'm talking to the real sleeping, <laughs> sleeping in shelters. You know, I got I got this push inside of me like, like the name of my album is gonna be called Less Than a Year because I did all this in less than a year. And, I love it. I yeah, love it. So less like, than a year. Like, I hated being locked up and begging my mom and my dad enough for some commissary money, and them not being able to like they'll say we could send it, but like we really got to take care of the kids right now. So I have to hold back and be like, you know what, take care of the kids right now. I ain't going to die. They're going to feed me three times a day, you feel me? I'm going to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, I don't need commissary right now. Take care of the kids. That's when I come in and try to ask my homies for some stuff, but some of them won't come through. That's where a lot of stuff, my music come in, too. Because, like, I, I thought you was my homie. You know, we out here every day yeah. doing everything, like, sleeping together, all that stuff. Like, all the time, every day, you were sleeping over my house, we going to school from hell. Or I'm sleeping on your house, we going to school from hell. Every day. And you can't send me fifty dollars, but they tell me you on Instagram, you buying bottles, you smoking weed, you doing all this crazy stuff, but you can't send me fifty dollars to grab a couple noodles. It's cool, but that that's what I'm like. It pushes me to like to go ahead and just show everybody like I'm gonna make it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of my family and my real family, whoever was there for me when I was locked up. Period. I love it. Pain builds us all sometimes. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are torn down from some of the experiences that they have, but. Yeah. Uh, most people are made they're made from the challenges that they had you know yeah. i could see a lot of um i could see a lot of you know pain in there you know because it, genuine, you know so, it's yeah, genuine, genuine. It's genuine. Pain. yes it is like all in one and it's good to be in touch with yourself like you know what i'm saying know how you feel and take some time and just sit back and just react to everything that you went through you know because yeah. sometimes like man i don't know if anybody out there know but when you go to the joint when you get locked up, like sometimes that's really all it takes for you to see like yeah. who really matters to you. I'm serious, like I'm it's talking about it down to a phone yeah. call, um, you know, a, a respond back, you know, just, you know, anything, like, anything. you know, anything, a reach out, a letter, like, you know, it really matters. And like when those little tiny things that people take for granted, when you just asking, like it really shows how, you know, people feel. And when you come home, you do feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? They make yeah. you look at everybody differently. I used to have people tell me, you know I just drove five hours all the way down south to come see you? You better appreciate it. And I get it now, like totally. You know what I mean? It's a big day, whole day out, you know, yeah, to... Yeah, there's people doing that, but there's people that can't even call your mom and be like, man, tell A-Rap I say hi. How mm -hmm. he doing? And you can't even call mom. You don't, don't put him on your phone. Ask my mom how I'm doing. Yeah. And you can't even do that. But, but you all on Twitter. Real, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you all on Twitter <laughs> tweeting stuff. Now. The yeah. internet is the devil. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? I'm, I'm glad that uh, you know you're gonna be a voice that's gonna speak on real stuff, man. And, yeah. and not you know, it's a lot of phony stuff that well, you got a lot of phony dudes talking uh -huh. real stuff. Uh, yeah. That's rapping right now that ain't even lived through the stuff, man. So I'm just glad, man. You know, you actually. I'm sorry you went through it, but I'm glad, I'm glad you went through it. I'm glad and I'm able to be your voice, yeah. you know, to speak about it. Yeah, you know. Tell everybody where they can find you at A Rap, all your music at right now. Man, I only got one song you can find on iTunes, Spotify, uh, YouTube. Uh, it's on all platforms right now. On um, your Instagram? On Instagram, The Real A Rap. Uh, my song song dropping soon with Lil Baby and Z Money. Music video, you can catch that on YouTube. It'll be on iTunes, all, all platforms. You can get it all on there too. And Steve, again, please uh, uh, make everybody aware of the drive and the concert you got coming up. Okay, well, tomorrow, like I said, we got Z Money, um, Lil Baby, Young Chop, Corporate, A Ray Luciano, Lit. At the Forge, doors open at 7. Sunday, we got the biggest turkey drive in the city of Chicago yes. going down at exclusive 773 at noon. Still time to donate. If you don't want to donate, come volunteer, or just come see the experience. That's all. I mean, it's a, like I said, it's a great feeling. Like you have to come see it to believe it. Like it's nothing like it. We'll probably get, uh, a couple of us from here probably come yeah. down on 87 on Sunday. I appreciate you it. Know it's my day. You know we down. You know we down. We down. We always lit. No, it's fun. So we'll have a little better thing. Uh, thank you guys for coming. Yes, we appreciate you having us. It's been job great. Uh, I love how humble this brother is. Just yes. like you, right. Steve. Thank you, I see a great future for you, man. You keep Appreciate your head up. You, don't don't let nothing. Appreciate you having me and everything, for real. Oh, man, it, it was a pleasure, man. Like I said, you was a, a, a gentleman and a scholar with, with some 
G stuff to talk about, you know? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna be right back, man, at the, this music break. Thanks for coming, guys. Pop radio, intellectual radio, IR radio. Thanks, guys. Let's